Between paying off $76,000 of debt in just one year, paying off her entire home by 29, quitting my Deloitte job, and hitting millionaire status by 30, what's our next big goal? Early retirement, but what do I actually mean by that? Because I do exactly what I wanna do with Budget Dog already, isn't that the point of so-called retiring? To do what you wanna do with your own time? And no, I do not wanna sit on a beach and sip margaritas 24 seven. That may be fun for a week or so, but that would get old pretty quick. What I really mean by early retirement is to be financially free, to literally choose to play life as I please, to be in full control, and to spend what I wanna spend my time on. Also, hit the subscribe button below before we get started. I also have a few cool free links for you in the show notes below. Make sure to check those out. When it comes to retirement, I think most people think 401k or IRA. However, it's far from that. And my early retirement plan comes with a lot more sauce than that. These accounts are certainly part of the equation, but it doesn't stop there. The way we are setting up our future is with a few accounts. Here's a list of vehicles that we'll be using totality. Number one, IRA. Number two, solo 401k. Number three, taxable brokerage. Number four, HSA. Number five, ESOP. Number six, real estate. And number seven, crypto. Number one, IRA. This is the easiest, most straightforward account that we're using for retirement. This is an account literally everyone should have. This account allows us to invest up to $6,000 per year. This money goes in after tax and grows tax-free for the future. This allows us to avoid tax in the future and required minimum distributions. This account is a gold mine. Assuming an average annual return of 8%, if we max it out from age 25 to 65, which we are, we will have a grand total of about 3.5 million. So I don't believe this is enough, but it will be a nice chunk for a normal retirement come age 65 and beyond. Number two, solo 401k. As a self-employed individual, I have access to a solo 401k. That means I can contribute more than the average person that's capped at the current IRS amount of 20,500 within a regular 401k. I can actually contribute up to 61,000 or 25% of my self-employment income. This could mean I have access up to 40,500 more than the average person in a tax advantage account. Total small business hack, so take note. Another thing I can do is contribute to Roth or traditional dollars, and I have access to contribute from the employer or employee side. There's a lot of flexibility here, but currently we are contributing 15% of our gross household income into retirement accounts, meaning this and the IRAs. Therefore, this account fills the gap after the IRAs are filled to hit that 15%. Could we do more here? Sure, do we? No. Here's why. Part of our early retirement and retirement plan is to have our three buckets filled, pre-tax, post-tax, and taxable. This part fills up the first two, but for flexibility purposes, we also want to add a taxable to the mix. And yes, there are ways to get your retirement account money out before age 59 and a half, but that's for another video. Number three, taxable brokerage account. This is my personal favorite account from a practicality standpoint. We put in money after tax and that grows. When we go to sell our investments years from now, only the gains will be taxed. These gains are likely 15% for 95% of people, but can range from 0% all the way up to your tax rate depending on how you pull the money here. But given we are holding for one year or greater, we will likely fall into the 15 or 20% tax bucket. This account can be pulled whenever and provides immense flexibility. Our goal is to grow this account to $2.5 million by age 50 at the absolute latest. This is the point where I believe we can walk away from absolutely everything. Not because of the 2.5 million, but that we have the other six buckets as well supporting us. Number four, HSA. This is my favorite account ever. Our plan is to max this account at $7,300 per year as long as we can. I'm not gonna dive into too much detail, but I'm gonna provide a link up top so that you can watch why we love this account so much. Assuming we max this account from age 30 to 65, we will have approximately 1.4 million, assuming an 8% return. This can be used for health-related issues or even act as a traditional IRA. We will also be able to pull all medical expenses tax-free that we paid out of pocket in the past. Number five, ESOP, or Employee Stock Ownership Plan. This is an account we have no bearing over, and this is an extra benefit through my wife's company. She does not contribute anything to this, but her company does provide typically around $200,000 come retirement. We have factored this in, but again, this isn't something that we actually contribute to. Number six, real estate. Recently, we have discussed adding a rental to the picture. Our goal here is to take at least one rental at a minimum in the next five years, get a 30-year loan on the property and have it paid down before 60 or 25 years by the tenant. This will provide us with four main benefits, principal pay down by tenant, capital appreciation of the real estate itself, the tax advantages, and the cash flow. Once this is paid off by the tenant, we will essentially have an entire asset. 
We could do a multitude of things here. We have floated around a few ideas, but this could simply serve as an additional monthly cash flow for us. Number seven, crypto. We have about 4% of our current portfolio in crypto. Yes, this is a total wild card. However, the immense potential here gets me excited for what may come here. While this isn't necessarily in the direct plan as of today, I could see it being more in the conversation in the future. If done right, I believe this is a great diversification tool. And you can check out the link below to get my crypto beginner's guide today if you want to learn how to set up everything and invest. With all of these accounts and assets floating around, how are we actually going to early retire and then retire? Like I said earlier, our early retirement is still to do exactly this. I could see it looking different, of course, but I love what I do and I love helping you. I have no plans to quit and I would love to ideally do this until I literally die. However, I'm not naive to know that life does change and having flexibility is key, which is why we're trying to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. So here is our tentative plan. Remember, we're 30 years old. This is absolutely subject to change as our life and even tax law changes as well. We see the brokerage being our first bucket we pull from. Let's say the age of 50, we stop everything. Now, if I'm working and bringing in an income, this may not be the case. But, but assuming we did not bring in an income, we will likely explore Roth conversion ladders at that point with some of our pre-tax accounts. If we were to retire at age, let's say 50, we will withdraw minimal amounts from the taxable and do Roth conversions beginning at age 50, where they become available five years later at age 55. This will open up the availability of funds into our taxable brokerage and conversion dollars. Then in another four and a half years at age 59 and a half, all accounts discussed open up entirely. We do not have exact numbers as real estate and crypto are still unknown. However, we will have 3.7 million in the IRAs, likely well above that within our 401ks around 5 million minimum, 1.4 million in our HSA, 200,000 in our ESOP, and a sizable amount may be below $2.5 million in our taxable brokerage account. Somewhere north of $10 million. I will likely work with a tax strategist at that point to pinpoint exactly the most efficient drawdown strategy of all those different accounts. The key is planning though, and continuing to navigate any changes that occur along the way. And this is absolutely doable for any of you listening. If you wanna begin building towards this, set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me today in the link below, and we will have you set up. I've worked with thousands of individuals doing exactly this. Anyways, leave a comment below for me and make sure you don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.